Welcome back, folks. All right, we've been hearing and experiencing that the real estate market on the First Coast is hot. So what does that mean for the rest of this year and into 2019? Well, here with us is Michael Anapolsky from our partners at Home Connect TV to share the latest. So good to see you, Michael. Good to see you, sir. Good morning. Uh, I'm, I'm having a great time in the, in the real estate market because I just bought a house and I'm right. loving that, that it's hot because I want people to keep buying. But what's, uh, what's going down the line here in the, uh, coming in 2019? Well, no, I think it's going to continue. I mean, it's not just me that thinks it. You know, we've been doing the research at Home Connect TV. And, and what we're seeing is that it, it's mirroring a little bit of the country and especially the good parts of the country. And by good, I mean the, those, those markets that are growing both in income and population and job opportunities and then, of course, in real estate. Uh, the market is hot in that there's not a lot of inventory right now here on the First Coast. And we've talked a little bit about that in the past, but it really is a factor which has driven the prices up, which again, if you're a seller, whether you're a builder or an individual homeowner that's trying to sell their home, that's a, that's a good thing. If you're a buyer, that's a good thing too because it's an indicator that the market will continue to, if not stabilize, grow a little bit, which means you're finally buying an investment. And while it may not be a two-year investment, it's an investment. It's, it's starting to stabilize, and by that, I mean the growth is starting to stabilize. So there's some really good indicators that for the overall market that it's hot and really doing well. Now, as far as the, the, the total market, because there was, there was some reports you were talking about that mm -hmm. you know the, the high end is sure. maybe not moving quite as fast as, as the kind of mid to, to low end. Well, a moment ago I mentioned indicators. One of the indicators that some of the, as I said earlier, at the 40,000 foot level, people that look at the overall market and more strategically 10, 15, 20 years out, are noticing that across the country, and, and by the way, the First Coast has mirrored the same effect. High end homes, homes in this, in this market, 750 and up into the millions of dollars, the oceanfront, the riverfront, the larger estates, are not selling that well right now. The values haven't gone up as well. And there are a couple of reasons and primarily it is the investor or the homeowner that they're being careful. We've had a great market, both the market, the stock market and just the general market and of course the real estate market in these last few years. And historically, people in that earning, uh, ratio, uh, earning area really don't have to make the investment. They can buy a smaller home. They can buy two homes. Yeah. So they don't necessarily have to do it. And so they're being a little bit more adverse. I wouldn't call it quite risk adverse. You know, right. It's not that dangerous they're just, yet. They're just investing their money yeah, in other so areas being right very now because careful. the market is Now, so could that be an indicator that the market might slow down? Potentially. Again, our research is showing it, but not tomorrow and not even the next 12 months. We're talking about the next few years that that group of homes, that price point, and almost every market of uh, real estate, whether bust or boom, uh, is the one that kind of leads either the growth you know, the coming back or a little bit of a stabilization and a slight decline in, in values. Well, I have confidence that the first coast will, even if uh, that does happen, because of so much infra infrastructure happening here and businesses coming here, the first coast looks like it should be set to weather that type of storm if there is one coming. We are almost perfectly set. We are in that, that perfect storm, if you will, of growth because of so many job opportunities, because the, the unemployment is low, because there's still a lot of room. Yeah. I mean, the first coast is really one of the last areas of, of Florida to really begin to explode and develop and grow. So we're really on an upward curve at almost every uh, measurable uh, analytic that you look at, uh, and we do look at that a lot, that says this is a market that's still on the growth and really still on the move and, and it's going to be exciting for several years to come. And of course, if you're buying a home like myself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay in it for as long as I can, so you can ride through those fluctuations. You have to. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a long-term investment. It's where you told me you, you can't wait to see your kids standing on the staircase for graduation. That's right. that's and right. that's a little bit off from what I understand. <laughs> it's a little bit off. Yeah. We've got about 17 years of that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good to see you, man. <laughs> always good to see you. All right. Appreciate you. And always, if you want to get more information about the real estate market, you can always watch Home Connect TV, which is on every day of the week on the stations of First Coast News.